Hello, good morning or good evening to everyone. Welcome to Main Train Tutorials. You're watching Main Train Practical Tutorials Part 10. So today in this video, in this video, we'd like to share practically about working with move statements and showing different level numbers, which is very important. So let's go ahead and see how the move statement works. So the move statement. So this is your COBAR program where you code ID division, program ID, environment divisions and data division. And I have declared a 77 level number. Uh, WS A, B, C, D. This is of alphanumeric of 10 bytes, alphanumeric of 8 bytes, and the numeric of 8 bytes and numeric of 5 bytes. I have declared two groups, group 1 and group 2. And this group 1 is AA, BB, CC. And uh, you can see a different kinds of uh, data types I have declared. One was alphanumeric, numeric, and only alphabets. Okay, so group two. So this is level one, and uh, after level number one, you have to increase the level numbers. If your if zero one is your group number, then it should be zero two or zero three or zero four anything. But it should be in increasing. It should be in increasing order. So this, I mean, the theoretical part of level numbers I have co covered in my uh, theoretical theoretical videos. If you want, you can just check it to you. Uh, this you can just check it to the theoretical videos of uh, about uh, move and uh, level numbers concept theoretically. So this is group two in procedure division. I'm trying to accept four different variables a, b, c, d, and then move statement is proceeded as like this move w s a to WSAA of group 1 so WSAA is from group 1 so in this particular group 1 you have uh, this particular variable defined so I'm trying to copy those things in the same way WSBB to group 2 group 1 and group 2 so we'll, we'll try to display this all this WSA B C D and group 1 and group 2 you either either you can display individually either you can display it separately or you can sub you can display individually so group 1 is having same variables defined and group 2 is also having same variable defined so if you want to copy to specific group 2 WSAA or group 1 WSAA you have to display you have to make it you have to define it as WSBB of that particular group where you want to exactly move this so in the same way display the base of a b c and d the group one and group two so that's it. this is a simple move and uh, level numbers program so now we will try to compile this program so let's compile it okay enter enter yes it's been successfully compiled now we will try to run it Our program so your program name is move your load library where the compiled load library sits here so I'm giving four variables welcome to tutorials and eight bytes as I said so there were two numeric I mean alphanumeric da uh, data types and two numeric data types for alphanumeric I'm entering the text I mean uh, the text here last welcome to and the tutorial and the one to three eight bytes and the five bytes okay we'll run it Enter, enter, enter. Yes, and it will return code zero. So we'll see the results. We'll see the results of it. What is happening here? Okay, that's fine. Yes, you can see. So uh, whatever the things have been displayed in the COBOL program, the same you can see it here. Display A, B, C, D. So you can see A, B, C, D. Okay. A, B, C, D. It is combined together. It is combined together and displayed here. And the same way, you are displaying individually group one and group two. Group one and group two is displayed. Group one and group two is displayed individually. Okay, that's all. This is the simple uh, program about uh, working with move statements and different level numbers. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you kind, if you like this video kindly, please subscribe or like 
comment on my YouTube channels. I will be coming up with more and more practical and theoretical and interview point of questions which I would like to share to the entire world so that it would be help them who are want to start their careers in mainframe mainframe technology or who who are want to just to refresh their mainframe skills. So it would be very much easy to them. So thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great and pleasureful day.